Welcome everyone to the Yon Podcast. You probably think Earth just has the one moon, right? Our big familiar one. But, well, get ready for this. Sometimes Earth actually has more than one. That's right. It sounds strange, but it happens. And uh, right now, or very recently anyway, we had a visitor. A visitor, like another moon. Sort of, a yeah. temporary one, an asteroid actually. Uh, its name is 2024 Peace 5. Earth's gravity captured it back on September 29th. Wow. Okay. So an asteroid got snagged by Earth's gravity mm -mm. and it just started orbiting us. Pretty much. Yeah. It acts like a mini moon for a little while. How does that even work? Does it just get like pulled in? It's not quite that simple. It's more of a um, delicate gravitational dance. It entered this region where gravity from Earth and the sun kind of trapped it temporarily. Trapped it? Well, maybe guided is better. Onto this really chaotic temporary path around us. Think of it yeah. like a... A brief orbital hitchhike. It's not stable like the main moon's orbit. A wobbly hitchhike. I like that. Yeah. It must be tiny compared to our moon. Oh, absolutely tiny. Reports say maybe only, what, 37 feet across? 37 feet. So you definitely wouldn't see it just by looking up. No, no chance without some serious telescopes. And unlike our moon, which is sticking around, 2024 PT5 wasn't here for long. Right. You said temporary. How temporary are we talking? It was only expected to stay um, gravitationally bound to Earth until around November 25th. After that, the sun's gravity basically pulls it back into an orbit around the sun itself. So it's already got its own way again, most likely. Probably, yeah. These are just fleeting visits. It just shows how, I guess, dynamic things are up there, even close to home. And you mentioned this isn't the first time this has happened. Exactly. It's not like an everyday thing, but it does occur now and then. We've spotted others. There was one called uh, 2022 NX1. That one was interesting. Oh, yeah. What about it? Well, it actually visited us twice that we know of in a similar way. Once back in 1981 and then again just recently in 2022. Visited twice. The same rock. The same little asteroid, yeah. Looped around and got temporarily captured again. And is it coming back? The calculations suggest it might be. It's expected to swing by again, maybe get captured temporarily around 2051. That's amazing. So some of these little guys can keep returning. It shows their orbits can be pretty complex, bringing them back into our uh, gravitational neighborhood periodically. Which makes you wonder, doesn't it, if they're this small and they only visit for a short time, how many others might be zipping past, maybe even getting briefly captured, that we just don't even see. That's a great question. Spotting these tiny, dark objects so far away is, well, it's really hard. There could be many more we're missing. The nearby universe is full of this stuff. So next time you're looking up at the night sky, you see our one big moon. Just remember, there might be a tiny, uh, temporary little companion quietly orbiting alongside it, maybe completely unseen. Definitely something to think about. Stay tuned for more intriguing stories like this.